This was a really great idea you had, sweetheart. The perfect evening to have dinner on the wharf. What a gorgeous sunset that was. I'm so happy to get to share this with you. And here, have some more of the turkey sandwich. You haven't eaten much tonight. Oh, and look what I brought you for dessert. No, I'm not going to tell you, baby. You have to open it and find out for yourself. <laughs> Why? Well, it's a surprise. You don't tell someone what's inside a present before they open it. That ruins the surprise. Yeah, it's those chocolate chip cookies from that little bakery you love so much. I know, I know. You have to watch out for the sugar content, but... Just try a bite. Tell me what you think. So, what do you think? What? No, I didn't do anything to the cookie. Just tell me. Is it good? How does it taste? Oh, come on, baby. Don't look at me like that. Just tell me what you think. Yeah? So, it, it, it tastes good. Finally got an answer from you. I'm asking because I called the bakery and spoke with Margaret, the owner. I told her how much she loved their cookies, but that with your medical treatment right now, you couldn't have the sugar. I asked her if there was a way to get these made sugar free. Yeah, baby, I did that for you. Why? Because... Well, because you're my girl, and I wanted to make you smile that gorgeous smile. I love that smile so much. Hmm, yeah, that one. Hmm. There's nothing big, sweetheart. I mean, I'm so glad that it makes you this happy, but it's just a little surprise. I've lots more where that came from. I want to see that beautiful smile as often as I can get. No, those cookies are all for you to enjoy, my love. I also have another dozen boxed up in the car for you to take home with you tonight. <laughs> well, to be honest, they had to make an entire batch, so I bought more than just a couple to make it worth their while too, and so you could enjoy them longer. Now that we've finished eating, why don't we move further down the pier so we can get a better view of the waves? How does that sound? Good. No, no, I've got you. I don't want you to get a splinter in your hand like last time we were here. Hmm. No, baby, it's not any trouble at all. I want to protect those beautiful fingers of yours. Just let me get the brake unlocked. There now. Let's go. It's so beautiful tonight. Look at those stars shining so brightly and that moon is enormous. I'm so happy to share this time with you. I know you have a lot going on right now with your online classes and with your treatments for your leg. I'm just grateful to be able to get any time I can to enjoy your company, love. And of course, to spoil you. When you let me, that is. No, baby, don't feel bad. That's not what I mean at all. I completely understand you have so much going on. There's no need to worry about that. I just want to be there to help you as you deal with all of this. You're so strong, my love, and... I know that, but I don't want you to feel you have to do everything yourself. I'm here for whatever you need, whenever you need. Promise me you'll tell me. You don't have to do all of this on your own, alright? Girl, I'll hold you to that promise. Hmm. Another couple walk by. Oh no, she is not the lucky one here. That would be me. 
I'm lucky that she ever gave me the time of day. It took some convincing on my part, but she finally gave in. Happiest day of my life when she agreed to give me a chance. Oh, thanks. You guys have a good evening as well. I see the look on your face, baby. What is it? What's wrong? Those guys? I mean, the comment was stupid. I know, but they were just trying to be nice. No, no, tell me. I need to know what you feel, my love. Yeah, baby, I know you've not had much experience with relationships before. Remember I told you that didn't matter. That actually makes what we have even more special to me. Knowing you've trusted me enough to let me in. Todd? He was your ex, wasn't he? What about him? What did he do? He what? Wait, that's why he left. That bastard left because he got sick. He said he couldn't be bothered to play nurse. Oh, love, I'm so, so sorry you went through that. He definitely didn't deserve you. You truly are the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Do you understand? I want you to forget all about him. He didn't deserve you, and he doesn't deserve another moment's time in your thoughts, all right? I can't believe he would tell you that no one would want to be with you unless it was out of pity. That is truly the most horrific lie I've ever heard. I promise you one thing, if I ever lie eyes on that bastard again, you will need to find a dentist to fix the teeth I help him remove. No, I know I don't have to be pissed off at him, but I can't help it. Anyone who'd hurt you like that deserves exactly what's coming to him. Hey, hey, look at me. We are not going to let that monster steal another moment of our time together. Tonight or ever again, all right? You are mine now. He does not get to hurt you ever again. Of course I feel bad about what you're going through. Anyone with a heart would. I'd give anything to take it away for you. But I can be here with you to hold you and comfort you when you need me. You can't get rid of me, baby. You own my heart now. It's all yours and I refuse to ever take it back. I love you. I've never loved anyone like I do you. I've never felt anything like this. Never even knew I could before you came into my life. So what if you use a wheelchair to get around? Whether it's for a few months or years or for the rest of your life. I don't care, but it's here if you need it. That chair's not you. My love, you are who I see and who I'm deeply and madly in love with. That beautiful heart and the most generous, kind, loving soul inside of you. I love you and I'm not going anywhere. Got it? <laughs>